do want to ask you to help <clears throat> clear up where there's been some public confusion, and that is exactly how monkey pox is spread. There's been some public debate uh, about whether it's it's largely through sexual activity or can be spread in other means of physical contact, skin to skin. What do we know? I, I think it's pretty clear that this can spread in other ways as well. Um, it, it does not appear to be strictly a sexually transmitted disease. Um, you know, you have a, a prolonged skin to skin contact, uh, but even even bedding and sheets like that, where people who have been infected have been, uh, could also potentially spread the virus. So that should give you a pretty clear indication of how this spreads. Uh, part of what's driving this discussion is that there was a recent report from the CDC about a man who had uh, been in uh, various situations, outdoor festivals and things like that, had not had sex um, with anybody uh, by his own admission and yet still contracted monkeypox. So we know, and, and this has been pretty well documented, close personal contact, skin-to-skin -skin contact, but also close contact. It could potentially spread through respiratory droplets if someone is very close by. It does not seem to be airborne at this point, but look, we got to keep following this and see what happens. And then, as I mentioned, direct contact uh, with scabs. One thing that I think was also interesting in this report that came out of the CDC you say, well, look, I don't see any rashes on somebody, so I'm, I'm not concerned. I've touched skin, but it's not concerning. But if you take a look at the images of what monkeypox can look like, there's not a characteristic, as characteristic a rash. Sometimes it can look more innocuous than what people might think of as a classic sort of pox rash. So I think that's something to keep in mind, not to alarm people, yeah. but to remind them, rather, that, that close skin-to-skin -skin contact is really seems seemingly the primary way that this is spread. All right. I want to start by saying, call hello, me, how old, Bashim, I was shy, Bashim, Rakhal Kodash, that will honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that, that rule and teach well, Salakia. Peace and Shalom to the Akim out there and the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children selected to make it out of here from the coming nuclear destruction. All right. I'm the brother Zayan, out of the DC camp, you know, just showing you this video here. Um, we just went through this video and I had it playing. Just so you can see what they're uh, doing. Um, Esau, once again, is uh, changing the narrative. or I won't say changing. I'll say controlling the narrative. Because within that control, he is changing things. At first, monkeypox was all sexual. Um, or you had to um, have rough contact with the individual, things of this nature. Now they're saying that you can get it off of sheets, um, respiratory droplets, being close to somebody. And things of this nature. They're controlling the narrative. And once again, like I said in the previous video that I did the other day, um, never trust our enemy. Um, Esau's controlling the narrative. Basically, what he you're the target. You've always been the target. Okay. As you can see, it says black and Hispanic people. What's that? Those are the Israelites, and they know this. All right, we were the target um during the 19 that was around. Now we're the target during monkeypox. We can't seem to not be the target. And you saw the uh, the pictures that they were showing towards the end. The majority of those, um, majority if not all of those pictures were Edomites. As a matter of fact, let me um, hit replay. All right. Facebook is Facebook. Of course, this ad is going to play. Well, whatever. Right. Let me see something. Of course, the ad is going to play. Let me let me just play through it. And that's the Satan. All right, but but you saw you saw when you look at the video, you can you can go back on this video, and you can see that the pictures that they showed were that of what Edomites, Edomites had this, but guess what? They're changing it what yet again to make us the target. Okay, all right. It says uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta clears up confusion surrounding you know this monkey nigga that's out, man. That's what I call it. All right. It says. Um, the organizers of Atlanta Black Pride and LGBTQ celebration held East Labor Day weekend. And you know what? If you if those niggas get it, good on them. Because what did the scriptures say? All right. As a matter of fact, before I get Psalms 83, let's, let's get um, Romans, the first chapter. All right. Now, when you get uh, Romans 1 in verse uh because it's a receiving in themselves that recompense, which is meat. All right. Salakia. Because that's uh that's the people who um 
who actually don't have a problem with it. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, you know, that's because at the bottom, as you can see right here, it was, it was connected. I was looking for the whole word recompense, all right? Now, this um, Romans 1 and verse uh, 26, it says, For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. That's woman on woman, okay? All right, so it said, for even their women did it, okay? You have man on man, you have woman on woman, which is abomination. Verse 27, and likewise also... The men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly. That's a hell of a demon. All right. That demon that's on them, you know, it had them once again burned in their lust. Okay. All right. And, you know, a lot of them, they just can't help themselves. They just have sex with a whole lot of each other, man. A lot. It's a lot of within that community. A lot of men, they just have sex with a lot of men and vice versa, the woman. It's like they can't help themselves. And they constantly go around looking for uh quote unquote straight people to corrupt, showing you that um that's a wicked spirit. All right. They were burned in their lust. It says, in receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which is meat, that payback of their going off, which is fitting. All right. And guess what? That's this new monkey nigga that's out. So these people within this community get that it's good on them. That's that's a judgment of the Lord. That's why you need to come back and repent and stop those actions, man. All right. If you are under, if you are in that particular uh, um, community, all right, and you're hearing this word and the men of the Lord out there preaching, you need to stop immediately and turn back to your Habashim Shah to get that demon off of you, man. If not, you're just going to be caught out there, man. All right. And the Lord's going to destroy you. Remember, Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed for these actions. And it said making them an example unto those thereafter shall live ungodly. So if you continue to live like that, you're going to be destroyed. All right. It says, um, uh, held, held each Labor Day weekend to have big plans. It says there will be parties and performances, workshops and financial literacy classes, brunches and a boat ride. This year also brings an event that no one ever expected would be necessary. A, you know, a sticker clinic. All right. And we still got to code these words. All right, so just jumping around. All right. The the uh, monkey nigga, right? Stickers won't protect people right away because two doses are needed. See, once again, you need two doses of this crap, man. And you know they put it as mRNA. Once again, that mRNA, so-called technology, into that uh, sticker. It says, but Scott said the festival is the perfect opportunity to reach a large group of people who have been disproportionately affected by the outbreak. All right, so let's go down to uh, some of the points now. While we're the target, the virus is spread through close contact and can infect anyone. The cases in this outbreak have mostly been among gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men. That's all gay. It's all homosexuality. They keep trying to, you know, change the, the meaning of things. That's all homosexuality. It says, and no one's been hit harder than those who identify as black or Latino Hispanic. All right. Nearly 38 percent of monkeypox cases are among black people. See, see how they transition. It goes from the LGBT movement in, in their community on to just now to the people that's coming in. Remember, you don't have to all right, have sex with an individual to contract this. Now, you see. All right. So with that being said, now the cases are still being among Negroes and Latinos. Again, if they're in that community, good on them. But they're changing it to say that, hey, these people are the face of this monkey nigga that's out now. All right. It says uh, nearly 38 percent of um, the monkey nigga. All right. Well, I'll just say monkey cases are among uh, black people, yet they represent only 12 percent of the U.S. population. See that? Hispanic or Latino people make up 19% of the U.S. population, but account for 29% of the cases. See, so what are we talking about here? Are we talking about, all right, amongst the LGBT or are we talking about as a whole? You see that? You see how they're changing and controlling the narrative to make Jake the target yet again? It's always been about you. Matter of fact, let me get this. All right. This is Psalms. This is Psalms 83. All right. 
Psalms 83 and verse 2, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. All right? They're very proud. All right? And we have enemies that hate the Heavenly Father, and they hate his people. And they show the Heavenly Father that through hating his people. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. See? Against thy people. Because they can't take it against the Heavenly Father. All right? Or his son. It says, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And they have the same vibration as the Pharaoh did in Egypt. Let us deal wisely with them. And then they wanted to what? Cut off the population of Israel. The same mindset. Well, hey, we're in Egypt all over again. You see? And Esau has definitely taken the torch from the uh, ancient uh, Egyptians, the Hamites. And he went full throttle. All right. He wants to cut us off from being a nation. OK, and then um, when you look at our enemies, it'll give you the different uh, nations. All right. That are our enemies, starting with uh, Edom. You see, so we've always been the target. Now it says, um, I'm going to keep going. See, now all U.S. cities. Keep that's the trends in the hardest hit cities, right? So not all U.S. cities keep a published demographic data, but among those with the most monkey cases, people of color are often overrepresented among the sick and underrepresented among the stickered. In Philadelphia, for example, 55% of monkey cases are in black people, 16% are in people who identify as Hispanic. And 24% are in those who identify as white. You have 56% of the shots have gone to white individuals, 24% to black people, and 12% to Hispanic people. You see that? So they're like, oh, we're not the ones getting stickered. You know, that's to Edomites. But then it gets like, yeah, since we're not the ones getting stickered, then guess what? We got high rates of this, uh, this monkey that's going around. All right? And, of course, in Atlanta. All right? Atlanta. As of mid-August, 71% of monkey patients identified as black. 71%. All right. Now, of course, again, there's a huge community of that um, LGBT down there. All right. So guess what? Good on them. You know, they receive that recompense of their era, which is meat. But guess what? Remember, it's moving on to just blacks and Latinos and Native Americans as a whole period. All right. It says 12 percent as white and 7 percent as Hispanic, while 44 percent of the vaccines have gone to white people, 46 percent to black people and 8 percent to Hispanics. Let's jump down to uh, a couple more. Let's jump down to Houston and in Houston. Cause we're jumping around now. Philly, Atlanta, Houston. All right. And in Houston, black people are overrepresented among the sick, making 32 percent of all the cases. But they are only 23 percent of the population. Only 50% of people who have gotten a sticker identify as black, according to the Houston Health Department. Now, remember, these statistics and these numbers are all gathered from Esau. All right. And it all fits and controls the narrative that they want. You jakes are the problem. You're the ones who's getting sick. You're the ones who are affecting people like they did with the uh, 19 that was out. You see what happened when they did that to us about concerning the 19. The news got abroad and went all the way over to China and them goddamn Moabites was uh, beating on Jake over there. You see? Because they made Jake uh, um, the target. So again, Esau is controlling the narrative, making you the target. Never trust his ass. Never trust thine enemy as the scripture says, man. All right? And we got to watch. This is a part of watching. And the watchman warned. See? Don't t just like we told you about the 19 sticker that came out. Don't take this monkey sticker if it comes out. Or oh, it's already out. You see? Because there's an agenda behind it. You take this, then guess what? All right? You'll be sick like you were when you took the goddamn 19 for the people that took it. All right? So with that call, how long you have? As always, to the elect, a double shalom.